All right, so let's start off with all the things I purchased at the Callets Gamers for Kids Expo. It's not really an expo as much as a, a huge sale. Uh, that's It's great to shop there because you get all sorts of deals at these places. But uh, first up, I got these three games at one. It is Dead Space 2, which uh, I did play this game after I bought it, and I've actually gone all the way through it. It's been, uh, it was a pretty good game. Um, and I got Konami Classics Volume 1. I've been looking for a good copy of this, and uh, finally glad to get it. I uh, need to really dig into Symphony of the Night again, and uh, Super Contra is pretty good too. And a GameCube game, Go Go Hyper Grind, which is not easy to find, but uh, finally I found it, and uh, it's a bizarre skateboarding game uh, that was co-produced with Spumco of all of all companies, the people behind Ren and Stimpy and the Ripping Friends. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. And I got these this batch of games at one dealer. Everything was half off, so. I'll just make it quick. Star Wars Rogue Squadron, a fantastic game. Three bucks. Super Baseball Simulator 1.00, a fantastic baseball game. I really love the Super Baseball uh, Simulator games. They're a lot of fun. It's only two bucks. Pretty good. Here's a game I used to own a long time ago, Section Z. Very, very good game. Here's a game I always wanted to own, but I never did for some reason. Pro Wrestling. Fantastic black box game. Loads of fun. I'm sure everyone knows about that one. And Russian Attack. Another very common game, but a very, very good game. I used to own that one when I was a kid, and I'm glad to have it back. And I got a couple GameCube games, because I, I gotta get more of those. So, I got... Peter Jackson's King Kong. It's only a couple bucks. And, oops. That's all right. And I got Beyblade V-Force. I'm not too, uh, I don't know too much about this one. It looks, looks like it might be some fun, but we'll, we'll check it out. And the final uh, thing that I purchased, there was one dealer at that at the place that uh well i mean if you went there you, you you know what i'm talking about they had pretty much every boxed game you could imagine for the super nintendo the sega genesis and the nes everything was in the original cellophane and uh it was just amazing but uh i got a couple i decided to get a couple of empty boxes well they weren't completely empty they had their instructions and everything so let's start off with Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Uh, both these boxes and their instructions and everything were uh, everything's complete, but uh, every it cost me thirty dollars for for this. That's not a bad deal. So Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, uh, you know, not everyone's favorite game, but I, I enjoy this game. It's got great music. It's nice to have a pretty good condition box in the original cellophane. And the best one here, though, is Diddy Kong's Double Trouble. I'm sorry, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble, Donkey Kong Country 3. This box has the hang tab on it, and it's got the H-seam. It looks like I just opened this up yesterday. It's it's so mint condition. It's got every single item packaging. It's uh, perfect So I, for my cartridge. So uh, I'm glad to finally get a box f for one of these, and uh, I'll be looking for the boxes for the first two games as well. But... Uh, that was a great deal for 30 bucks, both of those boxes. All right, uh, late last month, uh, Half Price Books was having a, a bunch of coupon sales. So I decided to jump on that and I grabbed a few games, cheap uh, GameCube games with it. So let's start off with, uh, the first one I got was just really, really cheap. It's just Catwoman. Uh, boy, that is a one tacky outfit. That's a terrible, terrible movie. But, uh, yeah, this was less than $2 after the coupon, so I didn't spend too much money on this thing. Next up was Dr. Muto. This is less than 3 bucks altogether, so looks like a pretty fun little game. And last is Starsky and Hutch, which is about 50% off and not a bad game either. 
Okay, doing some more thrift shopping. I walked into a Goodwill and I was stunned to see a whole bunch of Game Boy games for really, really cheap. So let's start off. I got a Super Mario Land. All these games were the same price. They were all 50 cents. It's a fantastic deal. I also got Bomberman Game Boy. You can barely see it, but this is Tetris. Mousetrap Hotel, I did not have this one. It's a terrible, terrible game, but for 50 cents, you really can't go wrong. And Pro BMX for the Game Boy Color. So, not bad. I mean, it's only $2.50 for all five games, so, you know, that's not too terrible. All right, now, as you know, if you've watched some of my videos, from time to time, I pick up some really good stuff at Goodwill Outlet, and... Well, you know, they've really come through for me in the last few weeks. I've gotten all sorts of things for really cheap, so let's start off with some Sega for once. I got a Genesis game complete in box, Last Battle. This was two bucks. Well, actually, it was three bucks, but uh, whatever. It's in fi fair condition, but uh, it's great to have a another game complete in the box. And I actually found, believe it or not, some Saturn games. So let's start off with Doctor. I mean, sorry, Mr. Bones, a uh, Saturn exclusive uh, platformer. Looks like a very, very interesting game. This game is complete, although the box is a little bit worse for wear. It's a little cracked, but uh, that happens to pretty much all these games. And uh, here's one more, Fighting Vipers. Only six bucks, pretty good deal. And uh, this is complete. The disc inside is in great condition, as is Mr. Bones, both, both of their discs. So uh, that's a pretty good deal. And I also got a N64 game, Mario Tennis, for $6. Pretty good deal. And let's go on with a Xbox 360 game, South Park The Stick of Truth. I've been wanting to give this one a play for quite some time. Getting it for six bucks, I guess that is a pretty, no, seven bucks. That's a pretty good deal. I've been wanting to play this for a while. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. And a really cheap game, Elif Elibits. This is $2 for the Wii. Pretty good. And I got a few more GameCube games because I know you know I gotta have my GameCube games. So I found Goldeneye Rogue Agent for the GameCube. Yes, two dollars. It's what they price most of their games at. And X2 Wolverine's Revenge, also two dollars. Although it says fifty bucks up there, it's only two bucks for me. That's that's a good deal. And the last thing I picked up wasn't a complete game, but it is a pack of games. This is 13 bucks. Open it up. Doesn't have much, a lot of good games in there, but uh, does have Madden, Freedom Fighters, Rocket Power. Worms Blast, and there's a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants game in there too. But for 13 bucks and and a uh, case, a GameCube case, that's that's not too bad. I, I'll take it. Okay, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have another one here for you in the next day or two.